Hi, Cody here from the Oxford Rug Hooking School. So many of you are following our Oxco Pals Punch Along blog that we are doing on our website uh, and through social media. This particular project with the triptychs, we're going to be talking about fine point needles and how to use them with different worsted weight yarns. Fine point needles are um, a little bit different than our regular point needles. They have a thinner shaft and they are going to be used with thinner yarns. So I'm going to show you what the difference is. Now this is our regular point needles with rug yarn and then we've got our fine point needle that we use here with finer yarns. Um, you can see the major difference in stitching here because you're going to be needing to do um, more stitches per inch but you're going to have to leave a little bit in between uh, to get the proper packing and we're going to show you all about the different sizes of worsted weight yarn that you might be uh, finding to use with your project. Many of you are really familiar with worsted weight yarns because they're commonly used for knitting and crocheting. So a lot of us have stashes at home and that's kind of what we've done with this project. This is a standard worsted weight yarn. Um, this is a single ply hand spun, um, but you can also get worsted weights in multiple ply. Um, and you can see that for the most part, all worsted weights are around an eighth of an inch thick. Um, and if you don't have worsted weight at home, you can also utilize the rug yarn that you have for other projects that you've used. Um, and this is a Briggs and Little four ply rug yarn. And if you split the ply, you can see that it's pretty thin. This particular ply is only about an, a sixteenth of an inch thick. Now our fine point needles actually work with fiber that is a sixteenth of an inch thick to an eighth of an inch thick. This is our Violet Jane rug yarn. This is a three ply rug yarn. And if you split this apart, you can see that the ply is much thicker and it's actually closer to a regular worsted weight yarn at about an eighth of an inch thick. And again, all of these fibers are going to work with our fine point needles. And we're gonna give you a little demo to show you how to use the proper spacing with all of them. So before you start punching your piece, it's always a good idea to see how your fiber is going to react. Now here you can see that I took all three of those different fibers uh, and I did little test swatches. Now this one, uh, this is the 1 16th inch thick plied, unplied Briggs and Little yarn. Uh, as you can see, I ended up having to punch in every single hole, every row, to get the proper spacing and packing. This is the standard worsted weight single spun yarn. Uh, with that, because it was an eighth of an inch thick, I punched every hole, and then I skipped a row, and then I went in every hole again. Same thing with our Violet Jane rug yarn. It was about an eighth of an inch thick once unplied, um, and you can see that I punched in every hole, skipped a row, and punched in every hole again. And I'm gonna flip it around so you can see that all three are packing properly. So punching in every hole and every other row or every hole every row is easy when you're punching in a straight line but what happens when you have to punch um, a heart or something that has curves in it? Well it's the same idea you're gonna punch and keep your stitches the same size however you're just going to use your handy dandy little stitch gauge to measure to make sure that you're between 10 to 12 uh, stitches per inch. Um, with this I'm using the red so it's much thinner. I'm going to be punching in every hole, every row. Um, as, as I'm going in and filling in you'll notice that um, there's not as much spacing as if I was to be using um, a thicker worsted weight yarn that's about an eighth of an inch thick. So I'm going to go ahead and show you and we're going to check it out with a stitch gauge afterwards.
So I've punched this with two different types of thickness of worsted weight yarns. Uh, the inside I used the four ply Briggs and Little unplied. Uh, as you can see, I had to use a much closer stitch. And then I used a standard worsted weight hand spun um, for the background, which didn't necessarily need to be as close because it was thicker. Sixteenth of an inch thick, eighth of an inch thick. So I can still check my stitch gauge to make sure everything's 10 to 12 stitches per inch. And as you can see on the back, I've done a little bit of cleaning up already and tidying to make sure that my heart actually pops. But you can see that the packing is similar to both because uh, of the way that I placed the stitches. So if you want to learn more about the fine point needle and follow along with our Oxco Pals blog, I definitely suggest checking out the description in this video. Uh, there'll be a link right there to take you to our blog uh, for lots of more tips and tricks uh, as well as tutorials. Follow our Instagram page as well.